Kevin Meiselman here, and welcome back to the Marvelwood Sports Network. On today's show, we'll dig deeper into Marvelwood athletics and learn about an athlete who doesn't have the chance to compete on campus. We'll talk to the male athlete of the week and Coach Cup of the varsity baseball team. All the action at the tip of your fingers, right here on MWSA. <laughs> varsity baseball team is one of the youngest in school history, but that doesn't stop them from improving day in and day out. Only three players on the team will be graduating, so they will definitely be a force to be reckoned with in the coming years. Here's Dan O'Neill with Coach Cuff. I'm here with Coach Mike Cuff of the varsity baseball team. I gotta say right now our biggest rival is uh, PDS. Uh, they're the ones that are leading the league. Um, although we're several uh, levels down below them, I think that we can in the end take them down. What has changed since last season? Um, well, we have a very young team, so um, it's it's been about a development this season. So I guess the biggest change is is building up our skills and uh, preparing ourselves for the, the postseason. What's your strategy entering the postseason? Well, um, I think one of, the, one of the big things we're going to have to do is to work on our pitching, uh, get it squared away, and make sure that it's ready to go. Um, and also on the uh, the bottom half of our batting order, make sure that they're up to speed and ready to go. Thank you, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, Dan. The first postseason baseball game will take place on May 16th, so stay tuned for more news on the Diamond. One of Marblewood's best athletes has been completely under the radar this year. She is a horseback rider that partakes in show jumping competitions. Here's Mr. Johnson with Marblewood's very own MC Cassell. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. I'm here with MC Cassell. MC, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, we're here today to talk to you about your horseback riding career that you've uh, undertaken here. Um, how long have you been riding horses? Uh, roughly 16 years. And what style of horseback riding? Is it dressage? Are you jumping? What, what are you doing? Um, I do show jumping, which is a method of English. Okay. So there's Western English, and then I focus on show jumping. And roughly how many meets or are they matches? What do you, what do you, how many a year? Uh... That's a hard one. That We pretty much have one every weekend. Um, I'm about to go over to Saratoga for a week-long event, which um, I'll be competing pretty much every day. And then we have the big jumping classes on the weekend. So it could really roughly get to pretty much either a week-long or every weekend, depending on the season. And these jumps you're talking about, how, how high are they? Um, it depends on what level you do. So uh, some people are doing like two foot. Some people are doing six foot. I'm like in the three foot range, so I'm going around like a meter, meter ten. So those are like three six. And, and how long does it take to train a horse? I know you got a new horse. How long has it taken to train this new horse to actually get that jump that high? So the horse that I just bought, she was already trained to do a meter 50, which is around five foot, maybe a little more. Um, but it's for like an average horse. It really depends on their breed and their age, but you can start training them to jump around four or five years. And then depending on their bone structure and their muscle buildup and how scopy they are, you can train them depending on, it really just depends on the horse. And wh wh what is your horse's name? Alexis. Well, I look forward to maybe meeting Alexis someday. Thank you, MC. I appreciate it. Good luck going forward. And back to you, Kevin. We'll keep you covered with MC and Alexis as they take their talents to Saratoga next week. Now to our next segment, Athlete of the Week. Isaiah Hykus has become more of a leader in the past two years on the Marvel Lacrosse team as both a captain and a top-notch goal scorer. Here's Hykus in an interview with Mr. Johnson. Thank you, Kevin. I'm here with Isaiah Hykus. Um, Isaiah, are you aware that this week you're our Athlete of the Week? Uh, no, I was not aware of that, but uh, it's good to know. As the postseason begins, what do you think you guys need to work on going forward? Forward, I think it's just uh, communication on the field, just trying to keep our uh, tempers down, try to keep our heads in the game. That's all it is. Including your temper? Of course, yeah. I've been trying to work on my temper for the longest time, um, so that's something i got to definitely work on for the team, trying to be a better captain as well. And uh, next year you're playing where and what position, and are you looking forward to that? Next year I'm going to Mount Ida D3. Um, I'm going to be a face-off specialist as well as midfielder, so I'm pretty hyped for that. Cool. And like this summer, do you have a lot of things planned to prepare for that? Are you going to, you know, do you have camps or anything, anything that's going to get you prepared for next season? Yeah, actually, um, we play on a travel elite team, uh, all the recruits, and then we go on a trip to I think the Czech Republic in Prague. 
Uh, we play an international term, uh, team against Team Israel, Team Bermuda, stuff like that. So it's going to be a really fun summer. Cool. Congratulations on being Athlete of the Week. Congratulations on uh, the rest of your season here, and uh, good luck. Thank you. Kevin, back to you, brother. Brother? Whatever, Johnson. Well, that wraps up the show this week. Stay tuned for exciting news as the regular season comes to a close and the heat of the playoffs begin. All the action at the tip of your fingers, right here on MWSN.